Hey up, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmic Mini Restoration with me, Mini Tom. So, today's episode is going to be about filling, sanding, and prepping the back end of the Mini. Uh, I have decided that I'm going to get the MOT on it before I paint it, just because I, I can't paint it here, I need to take it elsewhere to paint it, whether it be my mother in law's or my dad's house. It's a bit more space, a bit more, you know, uh, it's a bit easier to work around. So, rather than paying to take it there to get it painted and then paying to bring it back from being painted, and I'll just get an MOT on it because I need one anyway, obviously. So we'll uh, we'll get an MOT on it, drive it to wherever we need to go, look a bit neat doing it because it'll be all different colours, but who cares? Uh, and then we'll bring it back all freshly painted and ready to drive. Well, it will be ready to drive anyway. Um, but yeah, should be good fun. So what I'm going to start doing now is prepping the back end. I've got the sides to do. Um, I've got the floor to paint as well yet. Uh, I've also got my front mechanicals to do, so I need to check off through the, the arms and, and the wheel bearings and things like that. But they're all coming up in future episodes. But right now, I'm sick of welding. I've got a tiniest bit left to do with welding. That can be done another time. I really, really want to get on with some prep work because it's something that, at the minute, I want to get into. Give me a week or two, I'll, I'll hate it, I'm sure. So, painting-wise, we're not touching the windows. We are masking around them. As I've mentioned before in videos, this is going to be a, a, a quick fix-up for a couple of years. I know it's going to go around here again, but this isn't the colour I want it. I want it blue. The difference is the front end has got a few years left in it yet, so I don't want to touch that. So I'd rather keep that as it is, which is silver. Do the rest of it silver, and then a few years' time when I can take it off the road and do it all concourse styly, that's when I'll be doing it properly and putting heritage panels in it and yeah, painting it blue. A nice light blue. I really like it. So, a um, couple of things. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Please share it if you want to. Um, and don't forget to ring that bell. Uh, thanks to all my people that do subscribe to me. Um, thanks for all the likes that I get. Um, you may think I'm being a bit, a bit pathetic, but I have had a couple of dislikes in my last videos. I really don't mind it. I encourage you. If you don't like something, tell me, you know, dislike it. By all means, I'd welcome it. One thing I would say is if you're going to dislike something that I'm doing, let me know, you know, whether that be privately or put a comment below, something. If there's something that you don't like, it might be something that I'm overseeing and I'd rather know what it is so that I can fix it and do it properly. Um, but I'm not sorry about it or anything like that. If you want to dislike it, dislike it. It's not an issue to me. I just, as, you know, constructive. It, it would be better. So, without further ado, I will bring you down here and show you what we're working with. So, this is obviously the passenger side. I'll try and zoom you in a bit if I can. No, I can't do that. We'll, we'll bring it down a bit anyway. So, this was welded in and primed. It's pretty flat. There's not much there to do. But a little skimmer filler just to cover up that weld line is what we need to do on it. I've put some filler on the other side already. Uh, that's going off at the minute, so I'm going to mix some filler up on here and get that on. Now I've sanded it back over a block to sort of know where I'm at. I used 40 grit and 80 grit for that. Um, I've gone around here as well because it went a bit crusty as well. So we've sanded it back to that stage. We've got some, some bare metal there. Um, I'm actually unsure whether you can put filler directly onto metal. I'm pretty sure you can. So we'll we'll go for that one, but I've got all the nasty old, you know, the black paint off. I did the black paint when I actually put it in anyway, so it's just a bit of primer that's on there now. Um, but it's showing me the, the high and below spots where I need to aim for. So there's a bit of a low spot there. Um, that sh that does feel like it goes around to be fair, but these, I think that's a bit of a low spot just in that bit there. Um, so we'll get some filler mixed up and we'll, uh, we'll do that. So to mix my filler, I've got an onion board. I've always used bits of cardboard in the past, but I thought, you know, we're on YouTube now, let's look a little bit professional. Get rid of that nasty old bit. The filler that I'm using is a Halfords one. Isopon P38, multi-purpose. And it comes with a hardener, which is UPOL hardener. I think this is, does that mean it's a UPOL product? UPOL product, just there. So we're using a UPOL filler. I've got some... Uh, Cheaper thingies, spreaders, scrapers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so I'm going to mix a bit of filler up on here and then we'll go from there. Now it's said to me to do it um, a golf ball to a pea of hardener. Now, from watching Trev's blog, he used like a dolphin glaze, which is like a finishing sort of stuff, which seemed quite good actually. 
uh, for the filler work that I'm doing, I'm not going out with a rear, I'm just doing these little concentrated areas and we'll, we'll put some, uh, I think it's called stopper or some, some fine putty over the top of any pin holes. So, start off with, I've already mixed it all up really nice because obviously you need to mix your filler up before you do it. And we want about a golf ball, which should probably be out that. So you can't really see what I'm doing, can you? About that, maybe a bit more. Now, Trev said it's really important to keep things clean. Don't let anything get in your filler. So I'll put the lid back on there. I'm using a separate um, spreader to actually apply it rather than to mix it because, like Trev said, if you get bits like that, that might not get mixed in and you might end up with bad filler. So that's that. We'll get a little bit of hardening on there. This might be a little bit too much, but we'll see how it goes. I think that should about do it. That looks like a golf ball to a pea. I don't know what that really looks like, but that sort of looks like it. And then just, like Trev said, mix your filler till all of it's gone, so there's no pink in it or anything like that. Do it in uh, in long strokes like that, so that you're not introducing air into it. You are literally um, just mixing it. Now this filler, I will say, it does seem to get quite bubbly anyway. So it's probably not the best stuff. But that's why we've got a load of sandpaper and we've got the stopper. And I may have a look at getting some of that dolphin glaze in future. Because this isn't there's a lot of air bubbles. You can see it when you're mixing it, there's a lot of air bubbles inside it. Not far as I can. Right. So that's all mixed up. I'll get my uh, spreader. Apply a little bit of filler on there. Mm. Tell you what, we'll do it that way. And we'll just run it around. So what I'm doing, I'm applying it in thin layers, you can never really see, you can sort of see the metal through it, it's that thin, so it really doesn't need much at all. I'm applying it in thin layers, we'll block it back with probably some, um, I'll probably go for like a 120 on that, something like that, maybe even a 180, because it's quite fine, is that one that's gone on, I'm quite happy with that one, a lot better than the other side. But we'll block it back, it's probably going to need a bit more in the middle where the radius is for the actual panel, because it's quite sort of convex as this one, but we'll, we'll see how that one goes. The other side, I'm just going to pop some on that one because there was a few high and low spots. So I haven't sanded the other side yet, but it has gone off. So I'll just pop some in there quickly. So my fellow's starting to go off already, so I put a little bit too much hardening in there, but it's, when, when I'm sort of bringing it along, it's, it's sort of dragging on that side a little bit, so you can sort of see when it's starting to, to go off, and you don't want to mess with it any more than what you already have done. That'll be a bucket of sand. And then, 
We'll clean it all up again. So we'll get all that fill off there. All nice and clean. Uh, and I also, before I do any filler work, um, after I'd sanded, blew it all off with an airline. Um, so I blew it all off with an airline, tap ragged it all, and also um, did some wax and grease remover. So we're not getting any, any nasty stuff in there. Try to keep everything as clean as I can. How are you all doing anyway? I'm starting to feel a bit happier. We're getting there. Uh, well, what can I talk about really? It's like watching Phil Joy, isn't it? I'm going to put you on uh, pause for a little bit. We'll come back when it's dry and we'll do a bit of sanding. Alright, so I've just got some 180 on a block. I'm just going to go after this bit here and see what happens.
gonna go to a 120 just for that little car. This is a bit built up there. And I'm just using my uh, spreader just to hold it flat. Right, that's the rough shape put in then, so I'm pretty happy with all that. So what I'll do is I'll go over a 320 grit now, so we've got some. Uh, 240 and then 320, and then we'll put some filler primer on, uh, some primer and some filler primer, and we'll just flat that back off as well with maybe some 400 or something, some 500, and that should be ready to go then. So 240 next, just to bring them 180 scratches out. It shouldn't take much work this one at all. Then we'll go for a 320. And I'm just bringing it out up here because I did take some of that off with the, uh, with the 14 8 to get up here, so I'm just going to take out some of them scratches. But you can see how it is, not, not much filler in there at all, really.
that's feeling really good. I'm really pleased with that. So what I'll do is I'll just take cloth that all off, give it a bit of wax and grease removing, and we'll put some primer on it, then some filler primer. We'll sand that back, and then uh, we're getting somewhere. I'll probably bring the primer up here. I'll mask that up, obviously, but I'll bring the primer up to about here. Um, we'll filler prime more or less just this bit. That'll stay primed. And then once I've sort of flattered that bit off, we'll do the whole of it with the DA. Where's my stuff? So, Actually not too bad that filler. There is some uh, some pinholes in it, but to be honest, it's nothing that the filler primer will take out. So we won't bother with stopper on this. They're not massive. So. Obviously, well ventilated area. Mask is what you don't want to get, which I'll do in a second. So I've been to half this morning, can't you? And yes, why don't you just take it out? It's a very good question. My fuel tank's got some petrol in it. So I don't really want to be taking it out at a minute. All I'm doing, I'm not even going to prime up here. I literally just want to uh, get some primer on the bits where I've scuffed up. So I know where I'm up to. Fuel tank's gonna get painted yet, so I'm not thinking about getting any spray paint on that. And we'll get we'll be getting new tires anyway. So. Okay. clean lint free rag a bit of panel wipe the good thing about putting panel wipe on is you can sort of see what it's going to end up looking like and whether you put panel wipe on top of filler I don't know but it sort of makes sense that you would do because otherwise you get bits of prep in your paint so I've done that wrong, apologies. But then we do know that we can paint on panel wipe, so. So we'll just let that flash off a second. This is a bit where you don't touch anything unless you've got gloves on.
can see them scratch marks there, so they need to come out yet. But we'll, we'll do that. It's not an issue. This is a stage now where you really do start to, start to see what your work looks like. And I am pretty impressed actually with that filling work, it's pretty decent, I'm happy with that. Yeah, we're happy. So, I'm going to crack on with some other bits. Uh, so I'm running out of time a little bit, so I'm going to crack on with some other bits. I've put some filler down here where my uh, plug welds were onto the uh, valance from the welding panel. So I've got that to do, I've got that corner to do as well, which I'll probably use a bit of a rough sandpaper to start off with and then start working my way down. Probably start a little bit low on, a bit high on here. Um, and then we'll come back to that filler primer and hopefully we'll get some uh, some more sanding on this side. So I'll join you guys in a minute. Right, so I've run out of time. So what I've managed to get done is I've done down here. That's all been sanded. Um, yeah, filled, sanded and reprimed. that's on both sides, so that's the back bit as well. Um, I managed to get basically this primed, I did another coat of primer, I've done one coat of um, filler primer. I thought I'd go up here just to help get rid of them scratching, them sanding scratches. Um, I have got a little mark there that wants a little blob of filler or maybe even some stopper in it. Uh, it's just started to get in there with the obvious of a sandpaper right in the corner, so we'll get that sorted out. And then I've got a couple of little um, pin pricks just here. I don't know if the camera's showing up on that, but a couple of little pin holes. So I think again, probably some stopper in there, and that should cure that. Um, the other side, I'll show you. Come see, come see. I've started sanding this side, but I've got quite a few. Um, Quite a few low spots. Don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, a f well, you can't really see it. But I mean, like, there's a low spot where I've gone through with, with sanding it. There's also a low spot just here, just there. So I need to apply some more filler to that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to prime it over, just to stop any of that fresh metal, because obviously it's exposed now. Stop any of that bare metal rusting. I'm just going to prime it over. Um, and then we'll sand it back off, it's not an issue. I just, I don't want to start getting rusty metal next to filler. I, just, I really don't. So we'll, we'll, we'll prime that. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I've run out of time. So hopefully next, next video, I should finish this quarter off completely. The balance is done. And hopefully we'll finish that corner off. And then we can move on to the sides. Um, and then there's the air panel on the front. Um, and I'll probably, Doors, I'm still undecided to if I do if to do them yet or not. Part of me thinks get the MOT on it and get get it to a place where I can actually start. You know, I've got a bit of space to move on because once the doors come off, I've I've got to leave it in the garage and I, I I struggle to get in and out. So, hmm, thinking about that one. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that if you haven't already, you are going to like and subscribe, um, and ring the bell because obviously that will notify you whenever I put a video on. Um, anything you don't like uh, what I've done obviously give me a dislike but please just give me a comment I will have a go at you I'd rather have the, the feedback from somebody that may know what we're doing um, to say you know like my sanding don't sand like that do it in a circle or vice versa or don't put filler straight into bare metal prime it first I'm no painter I've painted one car with a spray gun that rest I've done with metal cans um, I'm just having a go and hopefully if someone will tell me what I'm doing wrong uh, I can teach the wider audience what I'm doing wrong and what they can do right so anyway hope you've enjoyed it um, and join me next time for some more exciting filling and sanding thank you very much see you later bye bye